गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू योर सोशल स्टडीज क्लास इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर फाइव द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज इंडिया अ ब्यूटिफुल कंट्री सो वी विल लर्न अ न्यू चैप्टर टूडे children in which country we all live we live in india india is our mother land india is a beautiful country in the whole world india is the seventh largest country the seventh largest so india is pretty large now from north that is ladakh to the south that is kanyakumari the length is 3214 kilometers so from ladakh to kanyakumari the length is 3214 km now in west we have gujarat and in the east we have arunachal pradesh the distance between the gujarat and arunachal pradesh is 2933 km so this is the distance from north to south and from west to east so india is a pretty large country with many physical features now we will talk about these physical features so now we will discuss the different physical features of india children india is a country that is full of diversity in the case of physical features india produces different types of physical features suppose you have gone to kashmir you can see high raised mountains hills everywhere but when we are in west bengal we can see land that is flat if you visit rajasthan you can see land covered with sand and if you go to south india you can find most of the lands are covered with rocks so india is a diverse country in the case of physical features we can see mountains we can see plains plateaus deserts and even islands so i have written a diagram physical features of india we can divide india in these physical features the first one is mountains the next is plains then coastal plains then plateaus after that deserts and lastly we have islands so these are the physical features that we can see throughout our country mountains plains coastal plains plateaus deserts island now in today's class i will discuss about mountains and plains with you let's talk about mountains so now we will talk about mountains 
Now what is mountain? Very high hills are called mountain. In our country, in the north, we have the great Himalayas. That is one of the highest and greatest mountain range in the world. We can found Himalayas in the north of our country. Now, Himalayas has many high peaks. They are so high that they are always covered with snow. In our country, some of the peaks are situated. Among the peaks of Himalayas, Mount Everest that is situated in Nepal is the highest. And as you all know, Mount Everest is also the highest peak in the whole world. Now, one of the most important fact about Himalayas is that the snow in Himalayas often melts down and creates the rivers. Some of the most important rivers of India have been originated in Himalayas. We will look at the names of such rivers Ganga, Yamuna, Satluj, Brahmaputra. These are the rivers that have been originated from the water that has been melted down from the snows of Himalayas. So, Himalayas is very important. For us. Now, not only in the northern India, in the central and southern India, we also have some hills. They are not very high. In the central part of our country, we have Vindhya and Satpura mountain ranges and in the southern part we have Nilgiri. Nilgiri. So I am repeating the mountains and hills of India. In the north we have Himalayas. In the central part we have Vindhya and Satpura. And in the southern part, we have Nilgiri. So, these are the mountains and hills of India. Now, we will talk about plains. Now, we will discuss about plains. As we have discussed earlier, in the north of our country, we have Himalayas. Just in the south of Himalayas, we have northern plains. Northern plains. Now the first thing that you should know that what is plains? Plains is a flat area with no raised part. And they are low lying area. Plains are also called low land. So, in the south of Himalayas, we have northern plains. Northern plains stretch from west to east. So, this area covers a huge land. We live in the northern plains. Now, 
I have told you already that many rivers have been originated from Himalayas. From such rivers, Ganga, Yamuna and others flows through the northern plains. These rivers bring with them fertile soil and that fertile soil makes the whole northern plains a very fertile area. Now what is fertile? Fertile is a land that is very effective to grow crops. Different types of crops are thus grown in the northern plains. So the first feature of northern plain is that it has fertile soil and then Different crops are grown. And lastly, the last point is, Northern Plains is highly populated. A huge number of people live in the Northern Plains. So, this is one of the most populated part of our country. So, this was all about Plains in our country. Now I will end today's class here. I will meet you in my next class and don't forget to read your book. Till then, goodbye.